Which do you think is worse for your back? Cycling or running? I would love to know in your comments what you think. Let me tell you why cycling is bad for your back. So two things. Number one, we find a lot of people have really tight hip flexors. First of all, your leg never fully straightens out, like your front of your hip never fully straightens out. So your hip is always flexed and you're always using your hip flexors to lift your knee every time and pushing down. Whereas in running, your leg comes behind you so you at least theoretically get a little bit of a hip flexor stretch. The other thing that happens is that when people cycle, they collapse through their abdomen. They don't hold themselves up. They put their hands on the bars, the handlebars. I know that word. Um, they put their hands on the handlebars and then they just collapse through their shoulders and uh, their back. And they don't use their abs to support them when they're uh, cycling, which means the back is holding up the whole body. So try to activate your abs when you're cycling just to lift your body up a little bit. That's going to help a lot. And maybe do some hip flexor stretches. But if you have any questions about that, let me know. Or you can come see us at the clinic. Uh, you can book a link in our link in bio on Instagram. Any questions? Let me know. And maybe we'll see you in clinic.